some laksa, the ingredients may seem odd and bizarre. You have what seems like a chopped salad atop a bowl of piping hot noodles. For the initiated, it satisfies the cravings of those who love the bite of thick white rice noodles drenched in a savoury fish broth that is tangy, savoury and full of herby goodness. Now, let's start with the broth. For the broth, you will need to prepare the ingredients in three parts. The spice mix, the tamarind water, and the sardines. I am using sardines in this recipe so that there's a reduced chance of anyone choking on the bones from the fish. This recipe makes 6 to 8 servings. Now for the spice mix, we will blend up about 17 shallots, 12 really mild chilli, 1 turmeric leaf, 15 slices of galangal, also known as blue ginger, 1 knot of turmeric, 2 lemongrass, and 1 and a half tablespoon of belachan. This is also known as fermented shrimp paste. You may use some water to help the ingredients blend better. Here, I added two hot chilies as I like my broth to have a bit of kick of spiciness. You may omit this if you can't take the heat of hot peppers. For the second part, we will make tamarind water. To 4 tablespoons of tamarind pulp, add water, mix well and strain. You may repeat this a few times with more water until you get all the pulp of the tamarind and set aside. Now, for the third part of the broth, we will prepare the sardines. Here I have 800 grams of sardines. I will blend two thirds of it and flick up one third of it with a fork. The blended sardines make it easier for the fish to be incorporated into the broth, while the flicked up sardines give you a nice bite of fish in the broth. You may add in an ikan bili stock cube at this point to make the dish more savoury. We are now ready to make the broth. Here, I am going to heat up the spice mix in the pan. We will reduce the water in the spice mix and let it brown in the pan to release some of the beautiful aroma from the spice mix. Okay, now once brown, add in the tangy souring agent, which is the tamarind water. To this, we add one liter of water to thin out the spice mix. Here, we start to season the broth with five tablespoons of sugar and season with one to two tablespoons of fish sauce. Taste and adjust to your preference. Bring the broth to a boil. Once boiled, we will add in our blended and flick sardines. Remove the scum on the surface of the broth as it boils. Now, our broth is ready. We set it aside. We shall now prepare the garnish. The fresh herbs and fruits that is going to be atop our asam laksa is going to give you that fresh bite and kick of herby goodness. Here, we have some lettuce, a ripe and sweet pineapple, ginger flower bud, laksa leaves or also known as Vietnamese coriander, mint leaves, some shallots and some chilli. Now that our garnish is ready, first we will get some fresh thick rice noodles, blanch for a couple of seconds. You still want the noodle to be al dente. Next, we heat up the broth and ladle up some of the beautiful broth over the noodles. Make it pretty, garnish it up. Viola, asam laksa, piping hot and ready to be served. Bon appetit!